Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coast Cougar, coming at you today. We'll be doing some really cool new barbecue stuff here. We've got some great products that we're trying out. Uh, first and foremost today, we're trying out Delta Ridge. They're, uh, it's uh, smoked hickory mustard. And I've been trying this lately on pretzels and sausage and stuff, and it's amazing. But uh, old Abe over at Smack Delicious has told me that uh, this is the best binder you can ever put on your barbecue, your ribs, your pork, or whatever. So we're going to try this Delta Ridge stuff here on uh, using it as a binder. So it's my first time to actually cook with it. Again, we've been using it for uh, some sausage, sausage cheese plates, pretzels. It's our first jar that we just kind of want to get uh, accustomed with. So with that, for, uh, as far as rubs today, I'm doing the Heath Riles thing, okay? Because so I got some ribs involved too, you know, Heath Riles rib doctor. So I got some honey rub and pecan rub. Those are gonna be for my sweets, all right? Honey and pecan. And then, well, I guess, <laughs> now I've got the sweet rub in there. You just like the color of that. Good stuff. And of course, for a base, to give you a little pop, we got the jalapeno garlic rub. So without further ado, let me show y'all what we're gonna get started on. You know, I've, um, I did those pork belly uh, twists or plats or whatever you want to call them, braids, and thought they were really good, but I was kind of like, you know what, I could do that with one of these big long pork loins from Costco's, right? So, I'll come on down here, let's look and show you what we got. Don't fall off the table over there. So I've got a bunch of these strips of pork loin over here. And basically what we're gonna do right now, and I think, I mean, essence of time is just to kind of make we'll kind of coat all these strips up with some some baste and sauce and stuff like that and then I'll get to where um, I'm uh, braiding them okay but just for right now we're just going to put some of that uh, put some of that uh, smoked mustard sauce on them right and put some of the uh, put some of the Heath Riles rubs and things so we kind of show y'all what we're going to do and we just kind of go in now here with the video. We'll make y'all have to wash this whole thing. But we're gonna take this mustard sauce right here. So we get a good little baste on these uh, pieces, just basically pork loin, right? Uh, big old pork loin, you know, you get Costco's, or you might have a Sam's, or your local butcher might have one. But that's what we're doing right there. Just put that mustard on that to get old pork loin. Okay. This is just basically going to be the binder that holds the delicious rubs on. Alright, so we got that. And then I'm going to go in with this jalapeno garlic rub right here. A little Heath Riles baste. And put that on there. Some good stuff there. Get baste on. Right. Uh, then I want to hit them up with the, uh, go in with the sweet rub. So this is going to have some good color pop to this. I will see this in the finished product, especially as it gets out there on the smoker. We're going to be on the last 640 day, rolling some Mama Jack pellets. Oh, not too bad. Uh, my honey rub, my pecan rub is what I like to use last. I just think that's the, the finisher right there, you know. A little honey rub. Conrad. Ooh, it's coming on out of there. I might have to get me another bottle. This is real soon. All right, so we got all that rub. Now I'm going to flip these over. We'll do the other side. I'm going to cut my YouTube. We're about to start braiding one here. I'll show you how this is going to go down. Let's see. Take one here. She's and then uh, we're going to. This one's a little bit smaller. I'm going to take this one here. Then we'll take, I'm trying to get them all kind of uniform size. Maybe this one. All right, y'all, I'm going to have to kind of turn it over here to do this. And this may have to hang off a little bit. But I'm going to take a, um, just one of these. Ah, grab it. 
I'm gonna know what this is. One of these little uh, skewers and we'll skewer it. And then we'll go ahead and get that going. Okay. So anyway, let's go ahead and just skewer just one of these, ru these ribs, kind of hold everything to get these ribs, these, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Pull for one. All right, so skew that through, just like that. Now, if I can remember how to do this, um, let's just kind of start the braid, okay? Like that, like that, just kind of want to pull, make a nice tight little braid here. Like that, man, it smells so good. These rubs and that mustard and everything. See so, yeah, how we just get a nice little tight braid there? I'm getting stuff all over my shorts. And that's all right. That's what we do here. Okay. Look at that. Woo wee. Mm, mm, mm. All right, and then I may have to take another little skewer. Look to the bottom of this one. What y'all think? I don't know. Let's see. Can I have water? All right, so that's what that beauty looks like. Look at that barbecue braided uh, pork loin. Uh, I'll probably put a little bit more rub on there, but it looks good to me. We'll get that on the Y640. Holla at y'all here in just a bit. I got some ribs that I want to do. If y'all want to hang out just for a minute and watch me do a rack of ribs, that's cool. But uh, we'll go ahead and get these out in the smoker here soon, okay? So we've hit our target temp about 250 degrees here on the Y640. We're gonna go ahead and load her up. So y'all how this is done, we're gonna put the ribs on first because they go on top rack. Pull this rack out just a little bit so we can get everything loaded up. Breathe there. Oh, come on in where you can see good. I can't see y'all what you're seeing. Hopefully y'all can see everything. So we're gonna take these ribs, rip, rip ribs. We're gonna lay them on in there just like that, kind of bunch them up. They're gonna be nice and pretty. Okay, lunch them up there. I might put a little bit more, a little bit more uh, seasoning on this one, just because some of them spat it off, that's okay. And then we'll go this one here. Bunch it up, get nice and straight. Look how pretty those ribs are. Okay, so we're gonna push those bad boys on in. Pull my, you know, see, slide the grate out. Hope that KZL. We'll put these uh, twists, or whatever you want to call them, on here. How are we going to do this? We'll do this. So we'll do it just like that. All right. We want to braid it up. Okay. Bigger one here. Nice little braid there. All right. In fact, I'm going to switch them out, y'all. There's a big one. Make it a little bit hotter back there, about a stack. So. I have him cook like that. This one goes just like this. All right, see how we got everything going? Make sure we got everything tight as possible. Push that back in. And we're ready to roll. We're at 250. We'll check this in about an hour. See what we got going. That's good stuff, y'all. It'll be real good. I've been getting a lot of questions here lately about pellets. Everybody knows I run strictly lumberjack, but different flavors. This 100% sherry is really good on pork. It's uh, what I'm gonna be running for this cook. So just, just any of y'all that are just curious, that's what I'm running here. That's gonna top it off. But uh, this, the comp blend is really good for something like this. Mix in a little pecan if you want to, pecan blend. But I just love 100% cherry for pork. So that's what I'm rolling with today. Everything's been cooking for an hour. The pork belly, the pork uh, loin twist are almost done. They're ready to be sauced. They gotta spritz the ribs. So y'all come join us here. Take a look at what we're looking at here. Okay, some ribs right there. Let's spritz these with just some apple juice. Might as well pull it out a little bit and get to them. Okay. Apple juice and lop cider vinegar. That's what I use to spritz. Looking good. Beautiful color on them. All that goodness, okay? 
plenty of spritz for them. And we'll push them back in. We'll pull the pork twist out, or the braids, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to sauce these bad boys. All right, I've got some of my rainbow sauce I mixed with a couple other things. Just kind of tweaking that. Use whatever your favorite sauce is, okay? I like a vinegary type, sweet vinegar sauce. We're going to sauce these like a boss. You know what I mean? Look at that. Put those nice and pretty. And let them go. They're about 140 now, I believe. Uh, internal, I checked them. So we just got a little bit more to go. Not much at all. But I'm going to put some sauce on them. Get them looking good. All right, I'll come back to y'all in just a few. So the pork tenderloin braids are done. They've reached about 145 or so. We can get these bad boys out. Let me take a look at them. Are they not just beautiful? I'm gonna go ahead and take them off the smoker, put them on the cutting board here. And we'll go inside and cut into them and see what we got. Shall we right here? Look at those braids. Oh, it's beautiful. Can't wait to get them on a try. Just take a little breaking rock right here. On the top. Got a cut piece of braid out. Look at that. Look at all that flavor still all throughout there. With the rubs and everything. Let's go ahead and try this. Mm. Alright, yes, it's time for the chairs. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try that. I'm bringing the ribs here just a little bit to do this. It's amazing stuff. But y'all, so I've unwrapped the ribs. Sorry, I didn't get that on camera. Uh, but unwrapped them. Put a little bit more rub on top of them, just some of that sweet honey rub. And uh, we're gonna pull them out and we'll give them first a little bath of sauce. That's how we're gonna do these. Pull them out just a little bit so we can see. I've got, uh, again, the Delta Ridge smoked honey mustard. I'm gonna put this on here and now I'm gonna come over with a little bit of my sauce a little later. With that old uh, Rambo. Just for some color. But uh, we'll put a little bit of this honey money on here. Not honey money, it's smoked mustard. Just because it has such an amazing flavor. I know what it's going to do for these ribs. So that's what I'm doing with this. I'm going to put on here so y'all can see. But I mean, just starting to finish with some of this Delta Ridge flavor, y'all. So let me get these glossed up. I'll come right back to y'all. So you see them right there with that mustard glaze on them. We're going to shut them back down and let them go for a little bit more. It's going to be good. Go after it's been a few minutes. Then let's pull it out and let's add just a little bit of this good vinegar based sauce. Oh yeah. Right over there just to make it. It's beautiful just for the color. For that twang and sweetness flavor. So we're just going to paint these up. Put it right over the good mustard sauce. I'm telling you what, these are no comp ribs, not me, but my gosh, they're gonna be flavor parties. Look at that. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and do the rest. I'll come right back to y'all. Oh, well, that's that. We're gonna let them rest, I mean, cook for about 10 more minutes. Right, so let's try these ribs. Come on down here. Y'all have a look at them. Those are beautiful looking ribs, aren't they? Some good old home eating, some good ribs here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just pull this back right up here. And this knife right down there. Gets a good cut. So we look like right there. What y'all think of that smoke ring? Ooh, juiciness. That is good stuff. Mm. Perfect bite. Oh man. Oh, that mustard coming through. I'm going to put on last. My sauce on top. That is nice with the sea trials rubs. Absolutely perfect. Mm, mm, mm. That's a good rib, y'all. Mm. 
Y'all, please like my videos, sub my channel. God bless y'all. Have a good one. I'm gonna get back in eating these videos, man. It's good.